You cannot do all the good the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. That's from Shelby, known as Shell Bizzle on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about four easy swaps that you can make to be the change that you wanna see. All right, rock stars, so let's get into this. The first change that you can make if you're looking to find ways that you can reduce your impact on the planet, and these changes are for those that have reached the self-awareness level of how your life is impacting the planet, not just the people around you, but the planet itself for generations to come. And these are four simple, easy things that you can do to be the change that you wanna to see to re reduce the consumer demand for plastics. And the first one I'm gonna to talk to you about is toilet paper and paper products. So I have a subscription to Who Gives a Crap? Toilet paper, facial tissues, and they have paper towels as well. I don't have a roll to show you, I'm out of those, uh, but they're similar to this. These are great and they are husband approved. My husband is very picky. Shell Bizzle on YouTube has a video about changes that picky people can make and I will put it in the cards above. Husband approved, I like these. I would show you what it's like to use this toilet paper, but we're not at that level yet. They have two kinds of toilet paper. This one is the recycled paper and they also have bamboo paper. They're, it's three ply toilet paper, it's very nice. It doesn't come in plastic, ship right to your door. It's not much more expensive, if at all, than the paper that you buy at the store. And so this, this is what it looks like. And it's a three ply paper and it's really nice. This reduces thin film plastics. So plastic is typically used once and then thrown into a landfill. It's used once, thrown into a landfill and lives in the landfill for basically ever. We, we can do better. We can put our green in green technology and increase consumer demand for products that are better for the world. The second swap that you can make is, I have all sorts of things here, straws. Now the Midwest has recently changed. The restaurants are now using compostable straws and I've heard people complain that they don't like the tactile feel of the straws, but it's so good for the planet. You have the option of not using a straw when you go to a, a bar or restaurant. You can follow the advice from Crazy Stupid Love Movie, if you know what I mean. Uh, I will post a link to the, to the video portion of it that I am describing, but you can go for metal straws. And the, per the one I purchased, I got this off Amazon quite a while ago comes in a little bit bamboo bag. It comes with four straws. One of them is currently dirty. I don't have it, but it also comes with a little brush to make cleaning the straw easy. Plastic straws. You can reduce your waste, reuse these straws over and over, get rid of plastics that live here forever. The third change that you can make is dish soap. And so I subscribe to Fillery. This is this company is moving in the right direction, but they're not perfect. So Fillery will send you a glass bottle to use. However, the pump is plastic, which is not great. Sell so dish soaps that aren't made from petroleum, but the company is on the right path to making a big change in the environment and how we impact the environment. And then what they do is they send you a refill. And this you use to refill this and then you ship this container back to them. They send you an envelope to ship the container back and they refill it and send it to you. This does not, this does not get rid of the need for plastics completely because they're using plastic. But shipping, I get, I get that it's plastic so that it doesn't break in shipping back and forth. However, at some point, if this isn't recycled, which is it's a recycled two, so well, not terrible, but it's a recycled two, this will ultimately end up in a landfill someday. So they're, they're on the way to doing great things, but not quite perfect yet. You can also change to drops, dishwashing pods. 
Drops is selling these little dishwashing pods. Uh, again, a subscription to your door. And these work great. These are very much like the Cascade brand. They clean my dishes well. I'm not super awesome about putting clean dishes in the dishwasher. Why well, have a dishwasher if you're going to put clean dishes in it? And so I put dirty dishes in there fairly often. And these do a good job. I recommend Drops. These little plastic bits, they break down with water. So these won't end up in a landfill. Now how does the chemical composition behind this little plastic bit impact the water quality? I'm not sure, I haven't researched that yet. My goal is to reduce consumption of plastics. And then I have one more, I have a bonus item. Let me reach over and grab it. Something else that you can change, drops also sells dryer balls and they sell them in different colors for your different laundry needs darks whites lights and instead of using dryer sheets you can use these balls these work great i add a little bit of uh oil to them to scent them um yep my camera is not going to focus to scent them so that it acts like a scent filled dryer sheet and these work great they also drops cells and i like these an oxyclean type product in these little pads these little pods that uh, break down in the wash these have been doing a nice job too so these are four easy things that you can do to reduce your impact on the environment if you want to know more check out um, Shel Shel Bizzle's video that uh, I linked before maybe I can pop it in here too there is a limit on how many cards I can put in so let's talk a little bit about emotional intelligence and what I mean when I said that when you reach the self-awareness level of understanding how your actions impact your environment not just the people around you but your environment so when we start off as babies our only instinct is to cry and we know that if we cry this is we're born with this if we cry our needs will be met as we turn into toddlers we learn that oh we're separate from our parents and we can interact with our world separately from our parents but we're still thinking about ourselves we still cry we still uh, do things to bring attention to us so that our needs are met and then sometime in the teenage years you get to a point where you're building your own identity so you've really solidified that you are separate from your parents you can impact the world around you and the world around you can impact you and so you start building your identity and then this is where the pillars of self-awareness under emotional intelligence really start building or not so everybody is at a different level in their emotional intelligence journey and some people stop at that teenage level they stop growing in self-awareness they understand that they can impact the people around them by how they behave and that's all that they're focused on the next level of that is then understanding that everything that you do impacts those around you and some people get stuck at this stage too so you understand that if you say someone something to someone to ruin their day hurt their feelings and be quite negative most people understand that you can also have a positive impact on those around you but some don't haven't chosen to take that path some have so some people then have changed and they've grown to the next pillar of understanding that they can change the world around them by being a positive impact on the people in their lives and some people have stopped at this emotional intelligence level there is another level there is another level of understanding how you yourself impact the environment the world around you and those of us that have are reaching have reached or striving to reach this level i'm still in my journey towards it you learn that everything you do in your life impacts everything around you the world itself is a closed system interactions with people interactions with places interactions with things the whole world the whole earth is a closed system and so anything that is done over here will impact what is done over here or what happens over here so in the movie Bruce Almighty there was a beautiful scene in that movie where it shows that he lassoed the moon and pulled it down for his girlfriend to 
romance her. And that the next day in the news, there was a tidal wave that took out people in the Asian area. That's exactly how the world works. Anything we do over here impacts something over here, and anything that happens over here impacts us. So on my journey into developing my self-awareness level where I'm thinking about how I'm impacting the planet, not just the people in my life, but the planet, I'm working to reduce how much plastic I use. Now there are so many avenues, roads, and issues with environmentalism. We have water quality, we have air quality, we have waste management. There are so many issues and the way that I look at this is I am taking a move on a chessboard. I am making, I look at this as a, a chessboard, like a battlefield. And I am one pawn surrounding the issues of conservationism and environmentalism. And every little move that I make helps flank the issue. There are others that are working on air quality, water, conservation of other resources. And my little move on the board will help us surround the problem all together if we work as a team because teamwork makes the dream work. In one step, one small step to reduce consumer demand for plastics. That's, that's my focus. I'm not thinking right now about how that step is going to impact water quality, how it's going to impact air quality. I am just trying to work to reduce plastic consumption. My next step should be then to start thinking about, okay, so the products I'm picking, how are they also impacting water and air? That'll be the next step, and when I get there, I'll let you know. This video isn't going to sit nice for some people. It's hard. It's hard to be told that you're stuck in growth, that you've stopped emotionally developing, and I, I know I'm probably going to get a few thumbs down, and I send my love to the trolls. Please troll me. If you're trolling me, you're leaving someone else alone. So if you want to bring on the troll comments, please do. I welcome them. Maybe, maybe it'll spark something in you and you will start thinking outside yourself and thinking about how you are impacting those around you. As you live the dream this week, I hope that you be the change that you want to see and rock on.